Hi, right, this is Strip. We're at Cheetahs. We're here with Kendall Carson. Hi, how are you? Now we're here for your birthday bash, right? That's right. Yeah, big days tomorrow, and we're celebrating it up tonight to bring in my birthday. Now, what are you, 18 now? Oh, I wish, no. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to be 25. Nobody no way. Excuse me, though. I know. Yeah. I'll have to card you after. <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> All right, so besides your birthday badge here, which you're going to have a lot of people come by and you're going to be dancing and stuff? Yeah, we're going to have uh, a lot of my friends and people in the industry coming by. Also, a lot of fans as well. It's open to the public. This is me saying thank you to everybody for helping me to get to where I am in my career. Uh, I am going to be doing my first feature show in Southern California here tonight. I have a really awesome custom made a uh, trashy Wonder Woman costume that I'm going to be doing. Oh nice, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, so it's going to be a lot of fun and I have like some whipped cream and cherries that people can eat off of me and out of my mouth, so. Ah, we'll definitely be getting some pictures of that later. Awesome. Uh, nice. So if people don't know you and they don't know a lot about you, how did you get started in all this? Uh, I actually started off in mainstream modeling and I had gotten out of a three-year relationship. Uh, I came back to modeling. I was here in LA for about two weeks doing photo shoots. And I was offered the opportunity to get into adult, and I had really only watched like maybe three porn videos before I got in. Uh, I was raised in a very conservative Baptist Christian home, so it was a really big decision to get in. Uh, I called up a friend of mine who's a, a celebrity portrait and fashion photographer in New York, and I'm like, "What do I do? You know, it's I don't know." And he's like, "Well, you know, you have everything it takes to be successful. Why don't you, you know, do one scene? And if you don't like it, you never have to do it again, and and you'll know." And I did one scene, and here I am 16 months later, and I was just nominated Best New Starlet and Best POV Sexing at AVN. I've done... Yeah. That's, yeah. That, yeah, we saw you at AVN. That was a good yeah. time up there. I've done a little over 100 scenes now. I have about 38 DVDs out and half the box cover, so... You've been a busy girl. Yeah, I have been busy. <laughs> no, you said this is your first feature dance set. Are you uh, plan on doing that a lot more? Yes, this is actually my first one in Southern California. Oh, I see. Um, I just got back actually from my first full tour, which was in Brownsville and Far Texas at Stilettos. Now, how did that go? Last, it was so much. No, I saw your behind-the-scenes video for that. Yeah. So. That was pretty cool. I got a little crazy. The last uh, show that I actually did, I took like a black light paint, like squirted it all over my. Oh, that's always a fun show. With it, and then I raffled off the panties that I was wearing with the paint on them, and like made a custom imprinted boob uh, tank top that was also raffled off. Very nice, very <laughs> nice. I bet you that went for good money there. It, it did. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Pretty girls, boob imprints. Yeah, that, that goes over well. Yeah. And then uh, I also did the whipped cream and cherry show, strawberries, and I also did cupcakes as well. Oh, very nice. So, you, so have you ever thought of becoming a bakery chef? I actually, <laughs> funny that you say that. I used to own a gourmet cupcake company before. No I was way. Born. See, see, there you go. I knew there had to be a tie-in somewhere. You're a foodie of some kind. Yes, know? I am. Uh, I was actually accepted into one of the biggest culinary schools in Napa. And wow. I decided to open up my cupcake company instead of going to culinary school. But I am a huge foodie. So when I travel, it's one of my favorite things to do is go try new restaurants. So when you retire from porn, you can go back to doing food and you can have a name to sell. Do that. Absolutely. Yeah. So we can have Kendall Carson custom cupcakes? I know. Everyone's like, oh my God, do you need to call it Kendall's Cakes? I'm like, oh my God, that's awesome. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you could have your own, you could be on that show where they, they make the cakes and uh, yeah. you know, yeah. that would be fun. I'd watch it. <laughs> It would, it would, because definitely those guys that are they're on there, they're not pretty to watch. So, <laughs> I'd rather watch a pretty girl making cupcakes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. It always makes reality shows better. You know. I think so. So, so now that you started dancing, how do you like dancing so far? It's been a lot of fun. Uh, I was really excited to do it in the first place, and it's something that I'm really going to be focusing on this year. So I'm planning on doing at least two weekends a month of feature dancing and just nationwide all over the. Place. Nice, because I know a lot of porn girls. They don't like. Like, you know, some do, some don't, some just do it just because it's slow or something. You know? I, I really like it because, I mean, I've always loved traveling. I've been all over the world. I haven't been that many places in the U.S., though, so it's fun for me to, like, see these different towns. And then also I love meeting my fans and interacting with them. And so it's really neat for them to come up and be like, oh, my God, I love your work, and I saw you in this video, and you did this, and it changed my relationship or whatever the case may be. But cool. it's just really, really neat for me to have that interaction because, uh, I feel that you know social media is such a big part of our industry now. Exactly. It used to be. 
So, you know, I can have like intimate conversations with them online and now I can actually put a face to the conversations that I've been having with all my fans. Very cool, very cool. Now, now on your trip, you actually got to go down to Florida and see a buddy of ours, Tony, right? I did. Now, he was at the new Platypus Studios down there. How do you like that? It was it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> right on. It was great. Right on, right on. Now, are you going to be at the Gentleman's Club Expo this year as well? I am planning on going in August. All right, well, we'll be there. We'll be there. We'll see you again for sure. Are you going to be doing some dancing there? Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to be dancing at the show, uh, but I definitely will be there to network and meet everybody. Just have a good time with like everybody else and get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Hang out at the circle bar and say, where the fuck have you been? I haven't seen you all year. Yeah. So that's where everybody goes and hangs out. Right. So was this your first year going to ABN? Uh, this is actually my second year going second to DVN, but when I went the year before, I'd only been in the industry about two months. I had like one DVD out, you know, so big, big difference. Yeah, you used to like, you don't know a lot of people, you know, you're yeah. just like, yeah, who are you? And then uh, this year I had the opportunity of doing Day in the Life uh, with AVN, and that was a really neat experience. And so really, you know, makes the whole uh, journey of AVN so much different. It makes it a lot more better when you know more people there, because year after year you, you network and you know more people, and it's like, like, hey, come hang out with us, you know, hey, come do this, we're going to go to this club, you know, get jump in the limo, we don't care if it's two in the morning. I was actually, I was really blessed, I actually got to do a couple of appearances while I was there this year, and so meet a lot of people, and so all in all, it was a great time, I really had fun. Very cool, very cool. So what do you want to do in the next couple of years for your career? Uh, well, the next couple of years, I would love to, you know, be a contract girl. Uh, I would love to have a flashlight, obviously, of myself. Um, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of guys would like that, too. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on doing parodies and features, and then also, obviously, I mean, I would love more nominations. Absolutely, yeah, more more, more uh, nominations are always good. We have a friend of ours that just won one this year, and she was just like ecstatic, you know. I bet, yeah, so, and then feature dancing. Um, I'm going to be traveling a lot, I'm going to be doing a lot of the conventions, all the exoticas this year as well, so I'm... Really yeah, I hear you're doing a Screaming O show, too. I am doing the Screaming O show, it's going to be in Alabama, I'll be at the Wild Cherry with Tony Batman. Nice. So that should be a really good experience. Very cool, very cool. So, is there anything else I forgot to ask you about? Uh, no, but if you guys you know want to check out some more, you can go to KendallCarson.com. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter at KendallCarsonXO, like hugs and kisses. And you can also check out my Instagram at KendallCarsonXXX. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much for taking the time on your birthday here. We're looking forward to the fun festivities. Thanks. Bye, guys. Happy birthday.